Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a new column to an existing table, but with a default value. So I assume you know what's a database, what's a table, and what is a column. You know all of the what uh, all of what that means. I will just explain what is a default value. So when adding a column to a table. You can specify if uh, a default value for that column and what that means is that when we insert uh, values into this table if we do not specify any value for this uh, column the default value is going to be used and this is very useful especially when it is combined with other constraints like not null most of the time the default constraint is uh, specified when a table is created. However, you can sometimes add a column to an existing table and use the default value constraint. So what you see here is uh, a table called employee in the database called demo. So let's assume I want to add a column called abbreviation to this uh, department table. So how would I do that? So to do this, you would say outer table department add, add let's say, abbreviation is of type varchar 10 and then we say default for example na so this is going to be the default value for this column abbreviation now let's run this and see what it's going to do so the command was completed successfully now let's select the contents of the department table again and I still do not see the abbreviation uh, column and the reason for this is that I need to add it here in the select statement abbreviation okay can't find it here I will just copy it from here and let's run this again oops I forgot here this bracket okay so as you can see the abbreviation column has been added but it is all null and the reason for this is that uh, this column should take the default value during insertion so when the row is inserted so we can fix this by just doing alter table Department set or sorry I just need to say update update department set abbreviation equals NA And this is going to update the whole table with the new default value but of course I can set this value to anything I want for example for the engineering department I can set this to ENG for the tool design for example I can say it's T, uh, TD, T, TDES for example and so on and so forth now in the future Anytime I do insert 
into this table if I do not specify a value for the abbreviation column it's going to be an A or it's going to be the value that is specified in the insert query so this is it for this video I hope it was helpful for you and thank you for watching